Hey guys, I'm walking on the Bollinger Creek Park Trail with Miss Roxy the Lab. We are walking past strangers, distractions. She's doing a great job. But the reason I'm making this video is to show you, because I get asked a lot, how to introduce two friendly dogs. So we know Roxy's friendly. And I have a special helper today, Miss Ollie, our special doodle. And as you can see, I have not had the dogs meet yet. Um, I never have dogs meet on leash. That's my number one rule. We're walking along and I had Ollie and Sarah walk ahead of us so Roxy can get her scent and so I can make sure she's nice and calm before we move on to the next part, which would be switching spots. So Ollie's been walking ahead of us this whole time and now I'm going to go ahead and switch spots so that Roxy's ahead and Ollie can get her scent. But as we walk by, there's no meeting. Our dogs are under our control, on leash, in command. And now Miss Ollie's behind us and she can smell Roxy. Both dogs are doing awesome. They're staying in command nicely and they are actually very indifferent to each other, which is exactly what we want. It may seem cute to have your dog dying to go meet another dog, but it's actually not a good thing to set up. So now that they're doing very well, we'll start to walk next to each other, but still the dogs are not allowed to meet. They stay in command, they mind their own business and they stay calm, which Ollie is very good at. So Sarah asked, what do I do if the other dog, you're not your dog, who is trained, of course, and perfect, is out of control or aggressive or just not trained at all by their owners and their owners have no interest in controlling them. And my answer there is you don't let them meet ever. You say, oh, I'll leave my dog at home right now. Oh, I'll find a border while we go camping with your crazy dog. You keep your dog feeling safe and secure and you let yourself enjoy yourself with your friends and not worry about having to manage dogs. If your dog friend is untrained but friendly just ask the owner to stay consistent and do not let their dog rush yours as you do this walking part together good girl but always make sure that your dog understands that no matter what the other dog's doing they have a job to stay calm good girl all right the next step is to have your dog do a nice down stay together and again they have not met they aren't even trying to sniff each other they're totally calm and being awesome rock stars and now I can release them. Break! Go! Now they can meet. You can see they don't immediately rush to each other and jump on each other. They are being very appropriate. They're just moving around together. Break! Go ahead, you can go in the water. Good job. It's exactly what you want to see. Now they can go and sniff as long as they're appropriate. And now they're best friends. Good girl. So right there, I shushed and tapped just for the rude kind of going over Ollie there. That could cause some fights with certain dogs. Break, break, go play. And they're right back at it. <laughs> 